Hey, it's PGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 2, a post-nuclear role-playing game. In the last episode, we entered Vault City, and we got a lot of stuff done. Although, to be honest, the majority of it was exploring. Um, which, again, I don't know if people prefer that, or if people would prefer to me for me to just cut to, like, Hey, look, I found a quest, and I completed it. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure exactly, but... Uh, the reason I like this game is because it's, you know, it's so blind to me that I just exploring when I actually get a result feels really, really good. Okay, so we can probably continue the main quest. We have to get into the vault, but they won't let me. So I'm assuming what we have to do is actually, like, wait, you know, let's let this dumbass Vic get in here. And then maybe we'll talk to him to see... Wasn't he trying to get here? I'm not sure what his... Qu I want him out of my party. He's, like, so slow and useless in combat. Um... Doing my best, boss. Okay, I want to ask you something. Where's your friend Ed again? Should be around here somewhere. Wow, Vic. Thanks so much, pal. We are we actually already talked to, to Ed, so that's no big deal. Let's enter the tap house, see if there's anything going on over here. Got a woman. Lydia. Yes, can I help you? What's on tap? We have synthetic beers and liquor. Vodka H, tequila, derivatives, W and W2, O and water. And Brahmin milk, beer, liquor's ten bucks, water and milk's three bucks. What? Uh, do you have any real alcohol? Why? You looking for something with m more kick than these synthetic drinks? Perhaps drinking synthetic alcohol can't really compare to the real thing. That's for sure. I used to have a well. I used to know this merchant who had a bottle of Mad Dog Thirty Thirty. Bitter stuff. Couldn't feel my tongue afterwards, but it was refreshingly different. What happened to this merchant stash? It got drunk, or so I heard. There were a few other friends here in Vault City who helped this merchant friend drink the stash. They were willing to pay a good price to have the real stuff for a change. I'll bet. You know, I could probably get some more of the real stuff easy. I've been traveling the waste a lot, and getting a hold of alcohol is no big deal. Is that so? Well, if you happen to be looking to relieve yourself of some real alcohol, then I could make it worth your while. You could keep it quiet about our deal and get the contraband past the gates. How much real alcohol would you need? Say, a case of ten bottles of premium alcohol and ten bottles of beer. And none of that radioactive stuff I hear comes out of geckos. Just good old booze, all right? I might be able to get you some. Say, I was looking for some information. Who's in charge of Alt City? Uh, the first citizen. She's in the council building. Okay, there you go. She's in the council building. So we should talk to her to try and get into the vault, I would imagine. Uh, let's see. We know where the vault is. Can you tell me about the slavery in Vault City? Look, first thing I have to say is that you better not call it slavery around here or you're going to get yourself in a whole mess of trouble. They're called servants, not slaves. Just a word of advice. Okay. Does Vault City have much contact with the outside world? Not much. Merchant traveling bid right at the end, blah, blah, blah. Okay, she can tell us about all of the different places. And that, it looks like that's about it. All right, so we want to go talk to the council person, but let's clear out the bar place first. Who do we have back here? A strong man in working clothes. He's keeping his eyes firmly fixed on the ground. Seems like that's just describing all of the slaves or the servants. And yeah. I was first captured in the death. So, I mean, they're literal slaves? They're calling them servants, but I thought it was because, like, you know, it's only if you do something bad. Do they make you do... Do they make you become a servant? But no, it sounds like they'll literally just... Capture people. Which is really messed up. Okay, where's the council building? What does that even say? B and F Oration Center? I have no idea what that even says. And then this should be the council building, right? No, that's the correction center. Amenities office. Maintenance center. Where the hell is this thing? Unless it's this... There's no, uh, there's no sign for this one. Let's head inside here. Yeah, we're looking for that first citizen, uh, whatever her, whatever her name is. Man, this is so silly. You literally have to click the door down here because the tree covers it. Okay, what do we have here? You see a citizen in a bright blue jumpsuit. It looks like the Vault Dweller suit, but there's no number on the back. Weird. Uh, same thing for that person. And same thing for that person. You see a healthy looking woman in working clothes, and same thing. So she's like the servant. And then that's Cassidy. Alright, let's talk to this woman. The city provides us with everything we need. Okay, it looks like this is just a house. Well, where the hell is the council building? What does that say? I want to go in here just to figure out what the hell this is saying. Actually, can we see the sign? It won't say it. 
You see a gentle looking man in a Vault City uniform. Oh, hello, is there something I can help you with? What is this place? For the love of God, please let me know. This is the information center. Oh my God. <laughs> I see it now. I thought it was saying BNF, Oration Center. <laughs> this is the information center of Vault City. Is this the place you were looking for? Uh, yes, actually, I have some questions. Do you know where I can find a Gek? A Gek, that name sounds familiar, what does it do? You know, I don't know myself. To hear the elder of my village tell, it's supposed to be some panacea for my village. I'm a little uh, more skeptical. Well, you know, the central computer down in the vault might have some information about it. We keep most of the archives, older archives, down there. How can I get into the vault? You need to be a citizen of Vault City first. If you want, you can talk, take the citizen set, citizen, citizenship test, or better yet, speak to first citizen Lynette. I'm sure she might make an exception in your case. Uh, but I am a citizen. Oh, you are? Pardon me, pardon me. Well, then you are permitted to simply walk down there and use the computer. Uh, seriously? I'm assuming he... I'm assuming that's not true. And plus, wouldn't everybody else need to be a citizen too? Where the hell is this woman? Amenities, amenities. So these are shops. Maintenance center. Amenities office. That can't be it, right? Correction center. That sounds like the jail. I, I guess it just has to be further up. Very odd. This place is incredibly big. All right, let's head into the, uh, this green zone. Okay, you've entered Vault City's council area. There we go. All right, let's save the game. And now we're looking for Councilwoman Lynette. So if I were a council... Whoa! Jesus Christ. Well, I think it's this building. What do you guys think? Oh my God. Okay. Okay. We, oh man, we, yeah, we have to keep holding shift, but something tells me, like, this place is so neat and clean. I bet they didn't even put items on the ground here. Alright, yeah, well, this is definitely Central Council. You're out of here after 6 p.m.? Okay, chill out. Be about your business, Outworlder. Hey, if I have anything to say about it, I'm gonna be a citizen, so you better start treating me nicer. Alright, now, if I was Lynette, who would I be? Elderly Vault City official, his hair, so that's probably not who we want. That's a slave. A grim looking bureaucrat with a narrow face and thick eyebrows. A stern looking woman with thick glasses wearing a Vault City jumpsuit. Jum judging from her bearing, she seems important. All right, it's definitely her. Let's go ahead and talk to her. If we can, if they'll let us. You guys cool? You guys gonna shoot me or something? All right, let's just open the door. And then here we have Lynette. Now, I've noticed there hasn't been that many voiced uh, people like in like the other games or like Fallout 1. So I would bet my life that Lynette is actually going to be a voiced person. Good day to you, stranger. I am First Citizen Lynette. May I inquire as to your business here? And GV is right once again. Okay, this sounds like it's going to be a very important... Um, part of the a part of this whole let's play so let's make sure that we hit the right answers here i'm in search of a uh, gek first citizen does your city have one i might purchase uh does the first citizen mean you're overseer of this vault vault city once you live in a vault nothing today i apologize for disturbing you i have a feeling since there's no actual number on their jumpsuits i bet they are they're not from the vault I, it might even be something super dark like they killed the vault citizens or something oh crap wait <laughs> Is the Enclave involved with this? Because we saw the Enclave, like, mow all those people out of the vault down, didn't we, in the opening cinematic? No spoilers in the comment section, please, by the way, because I do read the comments. Um, I'm just posing a rhetorical question. Okay, well, I'm in search of a gap. Where did one such as you hear of a Garden of Eden creation kit? I'm in need of one to save my... Such technology is not meant for outsiders. Uh-oh. She's got this really weird facial tick. I'm the descendant of the Vault Dweller, First Citizen. The Gek is required to help my village. Descendant of the Vault Dweller? What do you mean? I'm the great-grandchild of the First Vault Dweller. The First Vault Dweller? What? You must mean another vault. We have never been in contact with another vault. Where is it located? Okay, I actually... Let's be smart here. I don't know. You see, I'm trying to find the vault my ancestor came from. Oh, now I understand. 
But what proof do you have that your ancestor was from a vault? Okay, well, she's obviously not going to take the stories as evidence. I have this vault jumpsuit and this canteen. They belong to my ancestor. Very well. Let me see. These... These are authentic. Unbelievable. You are a survivor from another vault. Welcome to our city. You must have suffered much in the outside world. Okay, this is going good. I really do not like that facial tick. It's extremely off-putting. Ah, oh, stop it. I need a Garden of Eden kit. Where's the creation? Do you have one? I am sorry, but we used ours to start Vault City. I do not believe there were any spares, but you could check the acquisitions office. It is located by the entrance to our vault. Would you know where Vault 13 is located? Hmm. Perhaps some mention of your vault is in our computer archives. First citizen, it's very important to me that I find out the location of my ancestor's vault. If I could check the archives, I would be grateful. We could check the vault computers. They would probably have the information you seek. But only citizens are allowed to access the archives. Is there some way I could become a citizen? You may speak with Proconsul Gregory. He has authority to administer the citizenship test. He can be found in the meeting room down the corridor. I will go speak with Gregory. Thanks for your time, First Citizen. Or, there is another way to become a citizen. Another way? What is it? Rather than taking the test, you could prove your commitment to the vaults in a more substantial way. As an outsider, you are in a unique position to resolve a difficult situation for us. Okay, she's definitely trying to manipulate us, and I get a very bad feeling about her, especially with that facial tick, which I do want to see again just to see how creepy it was. Come on, do it for us. Do it for us, weird lady. I know you want to do it. Stop blinking your eyes. I wonder if it, like, for this specific text passage, she's not going to do it now. Oh, there she goes. Oh, my God. Why do you do that? Okay, I have a feeling we're not going to want to do what she proposes, but, um... What kind of situation? There's a town, if you could call it that, to the northeast of our city. It is filled with creatures that are polluting the groundwater with dangerous radiation. How are they poisoning the groundwater? Those things are operating a damaged atomic power plant. You see, they are immune to radiation. They don't care that they are slowly killing us with their poisons. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. I'll get back to you. So I'm assuming she's referring to super mutants. Now, if she's going to give us the alternate choice... If she's going to give us the alternate choice of going out and clearing a whole super mutant base, that must mean that it's extremely hard to do the citizenship, citizen, citizenship test, I would imagine. But, of course, let's take a look at our options. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Who are you? I am Preconsul Gregory. Is the office you look? Is the office you were looking for, or is the office you were looking for, or what do you do here? I'm the assistant to the first citizen. I schedule her appointments. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, the citizenship test. Yes, I'm responsible for administering, administrating, administering Jesus. The citizenship test to anyone who wishes to become a citizen of Vault City. What is the test exactly? It's a comprehensive exam divided into several parts. Advanced mathematics, spatial relations, deductive reasoning, language comprehension. Oh, and there's also a thorough phys physical examination. It sounds difficult. I'd like to take the test if I can. You wish to take the test? Excellent, excellent. Nothing pleases me more than testing potential applicants. But I must warn you, the test is several hours long. Do you wish to take it now? Uh, maybe some other time. So I bet what's going to happen... Okay, let's save the game. I bet what's going to happen is we can't take it because we have to be out of here at 6 p.m. Uh, is, does it tell me what time it is right now? 08.17? Uh, that means that it's 8 in the morning, right? So if it's only if it only takes um, a couple hours, we should be able to do it. Okay. Uh, what is it you do here? Citizenship test. What's the test? I'd like to take it. Uh, yeah, let's take it now. Very well. Here are the here are forms 5028, 6112, and the Pip Boy Answer Console. Please be sure to fill in each circle completely. Now, if you would take a seat over here, all right. I'm assuming we don't have enough like intelligence or something. 
All right, time's up. Let's see your form. Wait just a minute more. Wait just a minute more. Or oh, oh, forget it here. Hmm, no, no, that's wrong. That's not right either. Divide by zero error here. Hmm, needed to carry the two. Oh my, your vocabulary is sadly lacking as well, I see. Yeah, I bet you can do actually do this if you do have enough intelligence, which we apparently do not. So... Well, I regret to inform you that I cannot grant you citizenship at this time. Frankly, you don't seem to have the intelligence necessary to grasp higher mathematics. Maybe some other time then. What is... I mean, it's not too low, right? You probably have to have like 9 or 10, I bet, in order to do this. Hmm. Well, I don't know of any way to, other than leveling up, to just increase our intelligence. So let's go ahead yes. and do this. What is it? I reconsidered your offer for citizenship. You have. So you will stop Gecko from contaminating our water by any means necessary? Yes, I will, in exchange for citizenship and access to your vault computers. Very well, then. Report back to me when the job is finished, and I will grant you citizenship. Can I ask you another question? Yes. What is it? About the Gecko power plant. Have you resolved the situation? No, I'm still working on it. Then do not waste my time. Return when you Be back later. Yes. What is it? For a non-citizen, you certainly demand a great deal of my time. Um... This is Vault City. Why don't you live in a vault? No, no. We do not live in the vault. They were a temporary measure to protect a chosen few from the war and aid them in the subsequent construction of a new world. It's important that I speak with the Overseer. Can you take me to him? There is no Overseer. When we came to the surface, we formed a new government. The overseer position was superfluous. Okay. Well, this looks like it's going to be quite difficult because I don't think we have enough firepower to take on whatever it is that they're wanting me to take on. Uh, before we leave here, though, let's mess with the acquisitions uh, and see if we can't find... Well, see if they've got anything that we can equip uh, for our party members here. I feel like if we go take on the geckos now, we're gonna get decimated. Well, we can give it a shot, though. Amenities, I meant. Yeah, amenities, okay. Why is it amenities one, amenities two, and then amenities office? I don't understand. Is this a door? Okay. Yes, what is it? Can I see what you have in stock? They, wait, they wouldn't sell guns, would they? What? You see, an oh, antidote. I thought for a second that, that was like whiskey. Uh, they do have some stim packs, we, which we could try to get. In fact, how much is one gonna cost me? They're so overpriced. Look at that. That is so. That is so ridiculous, man. We have he healing powder, which does reduce our um, perception. Next time, you should try the store in the courtyard outside the city. They should. They should carry everything you outsiders need. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, so it looks like they just sell a bunch of random stuff. Okay, how about you? What do you have? Uh, a lighter, some rope. We might need the rope, actually. We needed rope in the first in the first game. How much is this going to cost me? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's buy some rope just in case. Because, yeah, in the, in the first game, you needed to have rope for, like, one of the quests. And we haven't needed it yet. So I'm assuming we will need it at some point. Okay, let's go ahead and just try to get to Gecko, I guess. I really feel like this is a mistake. But we can at least try it. And man, you really have to go far. Alright, so out of here. Although we could talk to Harry. Well, uh, you know, no, we're not even going to be... Well, I'll tell you what we could do. Talk to Harry. And then we could buy... Um, let's take a look at the gun that we're using. Even though it's a crappy gun, pretty much. Can't find it here? Are you serious? I literally have to go into my own inventory and take a look at my gun. What does this use? It should use 10 millimeters. Yeah, of course it does. 12, 12 shots of 10 millimeter JHP. Okay, so let's buy some uh, 10 millimeter ammo. If he's actually got any. 10 millimeter JHP. 10 millimeter AP. I don't know what the difference is. Okay. And then all this stuff is from some other stuff. How much is just like a normal weapon? How much is the Desert Eagle? Uh, yeah. That's not happening. Okay. 
Uh, is there anything else that we could use? There's leather armor, there's metal armor, there's microfusion cells, there's leather armor mark two. Oh my god. Alright, let's just put as many of these clips as we can. Let's do like two clips. How much is that going to cost me? 300? You know what? That's worth it. Whatever. Okay, fine. You got it. I don't have too much money left, but sure. Just take all my money, dude. Just take all my money. That might have not been a good trade, but what else am I going to do, man? What else am I going to do? Okay, let's get out of here and try to go to Gecko. Yeah, I'm feeling really bad about this because my whole party doesn't even have really anything. Although he's got a sawed-off shotgun. I mean, that should do something, right? All right, let's get up close to the edge, and then we're going to save the game. Okay, and let's head to Gecko. It should be on my map, I think. And it is indeed on my map. Yep. Okay, so we need to clear out... She's saying creatures, so I, and it's called Gecko. What does that mean? Is it actual geckos, or is it super mutants? I don't know. I do not know. You've entered a small settlement, the small settlement, of Gecko. It says radiation keep out... Oh, the radiation. Shoot. And what are these? Someone whose skin has been very badly burnt? Oh, it's ghouls. Duh. Oh, they want me to, like, literally... Well, if they're poisoning the water, there's the well. So, I don't know if these... They look like ghouls, but I'm not sure if they're going to actually attack me or not. And I don't know if I should use Radex or not. Uh, well, we saved the game. Let's take a look at our character. We're not radiated yet. It says radiation keep off. Alright, so what should we... What's our plan of attack here? I'm not even sure if they're going to... Uh, let's switch over to this. They're actually speaking, though. Uh, we're definitely going to have to go in there. Yeah, take a look at that. Okay, we're definitely going to have to go into the reactor and do something with it. I'm just going to hope that the, the developers are nice enough to make it not... Make it not give me radiation poisoning right now. Alright, let's talk to one of these ghouls. I, I'm going to assume that they're friendly. Hello? Hello there? Okay, they're nice. If they're nice, that means that we're going to... Dang, look at that. Ooh! Hell yes, dude. Wait, wait, wait. What was that soda? Nuka-Cola. Okay, we'll take them. There's some weird sound that's going on, and I'm wondering if it's radiation. I really hope not. All right. Um, well, we need to find somebody to talk to about the situation, because I'm sure you can end this violently. You need to also hold shift to remember to pick up other items. I'm sure this can end violently by us killing, like, all these people. But with our speech, we might be able to actually solve it peacefully. A ghoul just came out of this building. Manager's office? Maybe there's actually a manager in here. Okay, what do we have? An especially short, older ghoul. Hello there. My name's Lenny. H how can I help you? Um, Lenny, have you ever heard of a of something called a garden uh, of something called a geck? Ah, Garden of Eden Creation Kit. I heard that Vault City had one of those. That's the only one I've ever heard of, though. Well, my ancestor, the Vault Dweller, said that Vault Thirteen owes us one. I need to find it. Well, it didn't actually. I didn't actually meet the Vault Dweller, but I saw them once. Oh. I wonder if this is actually somebody we met in uh, the first game. You saw the Vault Dweller. Where? Okay, I'm not doing this voice because it's really hard to keep up. It was a long time ago in a place called Necro... Yep. A lot of us ghouls lived there. One day, I saw someone running through the city. Running. Yes, running. You see, we ghouls can't run too much anymore, so I knew it was an outsider when I saw them. They ran by so close I could have touched them. I wish that I had joined the Vault Dweller. You wanted to join my grandsire. Yes, I had the chance of a lifetime, and I blew it. What do you mean? Later, I heard that the Vault Dweller had fixed our water system. The Vault Dweller saved us, all of us. Do you understand? It didn't matter that we were ghouls. For once, it didn't matter. We were people again. Worth saving. I actually did that. So that's insane that he's talking about this. Because, yes, we did that in my Let's Play. My ancestor was the founder of our tribe. That memory is revered amongst my people. 
Later, I heard that the Vault Dweller destroyed the source of the mutant army. The Vault Dweller, Vault Dweller saved all of us, human and ghoul alike. I could have been a part of that, but I lack the courage. I've never forgiven myself. I'm sure the work that you do here amongst the ghouls is value and meaning. It was good to hear my ancestor. Let me ask you something. Okay. Alright, um... Can you provide healing? Yes, what do you need? I guess I don't need anything right now. Okay, so this guy could heal us. Um, looks like he's not really telling us too much. I'm trying to click the, the, the damn Gek one and I keep clicking another one. Okay. Um, all right, so he's just going in circles here. Let me just make sure that there's nothing else to talk to this guy about. Okay. Looks like that's about it for Lenny. A particularly leathery-looking... Oh, Hello, Jesus! Smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Holy crap, it is actually Harold. Yeah. Uh, yes, if you're thinking he is from Fallout 3 and Fallout 1, you're correct. And also now Fallout 2. I think I did know that he was in this game, but I totally forgot about him. Until now. Is that a tree growing out of your head? Jealous. His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. Right, well, maybe you or Bob will know the answer what to this. What you need, youngster? Okay. Um, you must know if there's something called a Garden of Eden Creation Kit here. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit? A gick, right? Well, I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. What you need, youngster? Okay, is there some place I can barter or resupply here? Well, you might try talking a woos over in the harp. You can't miss it. It's just across the way. <coughs> what you need, youngster? What do you do here? <coughs> <coughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. This place coming apart? Well, sort of. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but... <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig walla. <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, yeah. That would be bad. <laughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <laughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Good thing you're here to help them. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. What in the hell is a Hydra Magna whatever alter? <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Okay, what does it do? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> okay, though, so there we go. We can solve this peacefully by also by fixing this town and getting uh getting them off you know the vault city's back uh, i'm sure we could also do this in an evil way which we're not going to sounds bad where would you get a hydro magneto something or other well i'm certain those ornery bastards in vault city have one not that they'd share hell even if we had one of those thingies i'm not so certain festus could install the dang thing <laughs> Vault City wouldn't give you the part, even if it means that the groundwater would, won't be polluted anymore? Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> Not much chance of that happening. <laughs> but it's literally in their best interest to do so. Hmm, you may be right. Still, if someone could convince them that they should help you... They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. 
I wonder if someone else could tell them. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. What happens if you don't get the part? <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. What'll you do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. What was the name of that part again? We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. Okay, let me ask you about something else. What you need, youngster? And that's that. All right, so we, I mean, we're making progress here. It sounds like if we go back to Vault City. In fact, before we end this episode, let's just give it a shot. I don't think it's going to be as easy as just literally going there and grabbing the part. But maybe we'll have more success than we think. Let's at least give it a go. Let's save here. We are, of course, going to solve this uh, peacefully. We're not going to kill poor Harold. No, I, I liked Harold in the first game, and I like him in this game. Let's go to Vault City, and let's go just back to What's-Her-Face. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we need to wait now. You cannot rest at this look. Are, what? Are you kidding me? What? Why can't I rest at this? Oh, do I need to, like, go over here? And then I should be able to rest now, I, be I believe. Until morning. Okay. Let's head back. Now we do have our day pass, but they're going to search me first. Okay. Now, Vic, you better hurry up, dude, you little idiot. Why does he walk so slow? It's so weird that he could be a companion, considering he is just the worst. Literally the worst. Uh, if somebody else... Oh, you know what? The maintenance center might be where we get it but yeah let's let's give talking to the first citizen a go real quick but i bet we're gonna have to talk to whoever's in the maintenance center to get that part the hydroelectric something or other uh but we will talk to what's her face first since she does run the city like i said i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be as easy but it might be because we have speech that's the only reason why i'm checking this before we end this episode because we have speech we might actually be able to solve this quickly. No, 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 not load, not load, not load. Let us save. Yes? What is it? About the Gecko power plant. Have you resolved the situation? I found out all they need to do is to get their plant, all they need to do, all they need to get their plant running clean is a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator. So you haven't taken care of the problem? As I understand it, you have the part here in Vault City to fix their pro uh, to fix their plant. What if we do? That is only a temporary solution. Please fix the problem, not their power plant. Am I making myself clear? This woman is just the worst. First citizen, I mean no disrespect, but there's a way to solve your problem without killing all the ghouls or shutting down their reactor. Now if I could just get the part... I have had enough of your foolishness. You are no longer permitted inside Vault City. My guards will escort you to the front gate. Ooh. Your guards won't get here in time to save your life, first citizen. Oh, she's just straight up running for it. I actually do want to try to kill her because I absolutely hate this woman. All right, let's move a little bit closer where she looks like she's right there. And of course, a companion is blocking the path. GV, why don't you like companions? Uh, yeah, this is why. All right, so here she is. She was hit for 18 points and now begins the large... <laughs> oh, man, we were hit for 20 points. I mean, we're definitely going to die because... No, don't go for him. Why did you unequip your sledgehammer? God, combat in this game, like, seriously makes no sense at all. Okay, we need, we need our companions to be closer, actually, now that I think about it. Because Cassidy's down here. Vic's, like, all the way over there. Finally, Sulik, Sulik takes out his sledgehammer, and we are dead. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, like I said, it's a good thing that we saved. I didn't say this yet, but it's a good thing that we saved because, as you can see, uh, things are going to go bad if we try to press her on the issue. So we need to find another way to get that part so we can solve things peacefully. And we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. I will see you in the next one. If you want to see more GV, all of the links are below in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.